Why, hello there! So, uh, I got a copy of Mega Man 11. It was announced last week, so weird that I could find a copy this early. Um, for some reason came in a Game Boy, uh, you know, file, so that's interesting. Um, so, okay, I guess they just recycled Robot Masters from the previous games. Uh, Metal Man, Air Man, Wood Man, and Crash Man. So, yeah, um... So far, it looks like they're going for a retro style. Yeah, the graphics seem really downgraded compared to what we saw in the trailer. Um, seems pretty floaty. At least they fixed his running animation, though, so uh, I guess it's an improvement. Um, I don't know if my, uh, you know, TV settings are uh, messed up or something, because it's all in black and white. Um, yeah, in all seriousness, this is a Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a step down, unfortunately, from Dr. Body's Revenge. Even that game was kind of a mixed bag for me. Um, the level design here is a little bit meh. You can just tank a lot of stuff, and it's really... Um, so it's, it's, it's really not memorable. This game really isn't memorable for any good reason, I'll say. Um... I'm um, getting to the actual, my actual opinions on Mega Man 11, by the way, uh, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, excited for it. Um, I'm worried that it might just be kind of there, though. It might be, like, another Mega Man 10. I'm worried. That's my greatest fear, is what I'll say. Um, and I, and, and uh, some of the footage on the trailer, I'm not sure if it looks like the, the engine is perfect yet. <laughs> um, you know, it looks a slight... Uh, a tad bit floaty. This game is, uh, now that we're, uh, that I mention it, but, um, hopefully that, uh, may maybe it, it looks better, it, it plays better than it looks. Also, you have to have some pretty precise dodging to get past this room if you wanna, you know, you, you gotta maneuver your slides and stuff. If you have the rush coil, you can get that one up, but we don't. Yeah, rush is in this game. They kinda, this is based on Mega Man 3 and 2 for the NES, the way the first one was based on uh, 1 and 2. So they give us the slide, they kind of introduce uh, Mega Man's, you know, abilities in the same, you know, progression as they do in the NES game. So he starts off with his charge shot, then he gets the slide, or other way around, other way around, he just gets the slide, then he gets the charge shot, and then every game after that changes it slightly. Also, you can see past the boss gate, that's going to trigger some people's OCD. Even when you enter the boss room, it's slightly... When you're, when you're not viewing it on the Game Boy screen, you kind of slightly see it to the left there. Also, Metal Man's way nerfed from his uh, Mega Man 2 appearance. You'd think that uh, having a smaller screen would make it harder to dodge him, but really, no. Um, he, he, you can see he's kind of just throwing the same pattern. And I've never seen the conveyor belt change direction, so you get pushed away from him. So it's pretty, uh, makes things easier. Now, if you want to have a slightly uh, higher challenge, you can... You know, it's like the Mega Man 2, where if you run at him, he jumps to the other side of the screen, but... And that's hard to deal with, because he... Whoa, what's... what's? He got stuck inside me for a second. <laughs> um, his weakness in the game is the Crash Bomber, so... Yeah, it's because, you know, they didn't have the Quick Boomerang in this game, so they had to kind of change it up slightly. Yeah, Rush, is, Rush Marine, of all the things to bring back, they, uh, borrowed that. So Woodman's still the next best choice, because we got... He's still weak to the Metal Blades, and, uh... There's also a water section that we can use Rush Marine in, so... These Badins here, they don't... They open up after a while, but it takes them, like, several seconds. So they're really not much of an issue. So as you can hear, the music's different. Um, it's not remixed uh, for Mega Man 2. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, as you can hear from the menu music especially, it's it's pretty. It's held in pretty low regard, and I, I can I, I can see why. I've some pe had some people say that the instrument, even though they don't like the instrumentation, they say that the the melodies are okay and that remixes, you know, it's salvageable. Even then, personally, I think the melodies are just kind of unmemorable. Like, I don't really... Like, if you played a song, I probably would, half the time, not remember which stage it was from. 
Also, we got some Needleman enemies here. Uh, this would be a problem if uh, we didn't have Russian Marines using the section here. But yeah, fortunate for me that... I will say this, level design, I find myself uh, having difficulty commentating over it. Lucky for me that... Uh, it total coincidence that Mega Man 11 got announced at the same time as, uh, you know, working on the Game Boy games, so I could, uh, associate it with that, so. That's the thematic association, uh. Also, these chickens, they, um, if you stand there, they will run into you. It's not like Mega Man 2 where you can just stand still and you can, uh, you know. If you want to get past them, you gotta kinda wait for your chance to do it. But you can also just hit him in one hit with a Metal Blade. They're slightly nerfed in this game, Metal Blade that is. You know, they're a bit slower. Uh, I don't think they do as much damage all the time, but... They're still pretty good. Probably one of the better weapons, still. Woodman! Another boss that was nerfed. Um, you can hit through the Leaf Shield, like uh, kind of like the Jewel Satellite, you know. And, uh... I don't know if he has less invincibility frames or something, but yeah, he uh, he can, he only gets if if you keep spamming at him, he only gets one shot at you. In Mega Man Two, he would at least get you know some degree of he he he'd at least get two shots at you before you kill him. So yeah, Leaf Shield's all right in this game, you know, or same as uh, other games. Also, his leaps that uh. At the very least, leaves that come down also block your shots, if you notice, but as you can see, it, it wasn't much of an issue. So yeah, these air tiki's, I still, yeah, uh, uh, I still have trouble with them, um, but you can still tank them pretty easily, so. Now, the plot of this game, this game does have a plot, and it's kind of weird, um... I mean, a lot of you probably already know what it is, but... I'll say at this point, Wily's, uh, stolen a time machine called the Time Skimmer, and... Also, Pippi, you're flying very low to the ground. More so than usual. And these Air Tiki sprites look like they're, they're from Super Mario Land. I don't know why, but, um... Yeah, Wily's stolen a time machine, uh... For some reason, these four robot masters are involved. I don't remember how, and, uh... Wily is still currently configuring his time machine, I guess we'll say. Also, those, uh... These Kaminari Goros, they don't work like they do in uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge. You can shoot them all you want. Their uh, lightning bolts will not deflect your shots, so just uh, hammer away at them. Preferably with the Metal Blade, because, you know... And the moment I say that, of course I fail to do so. We're almost to the end, I think. Now you you uh, drop down to the left here. It, it looks like you can go to the right, but if you see, yeah, no. So you can go on the left here. If you do the same on this screen, though, um, that's a bottomless pit, and you can kind of see it now on a large screen. But on the Game Boy screen, you would—at least I couldn't uh, tell. So um, yeah, that's cheerfully, <laughs> cheerfully, uh, you know, uh, sadistic level design. Airman, you're not much different than Mega Man 2, you just, uh... Except now we have sliding, and, you know, you, you have four air shooters instead of six on screen at a time. That's about it. So yeah, he jumps the other screen. He doesn't give you any space at the end of the screen like he did the last game, but... He also seems to have no invincibility frames, so, uh... Yeah, just, uh, sh shoot the, uh, leaf shield at him, and he's, uh, he's pretty well toast. Also, his victory music sounds kind- it it's weird, it sounds like the Mega Man 3 victory music, except it's not. Like, the melody is slightly different. Like, why would they have a song that's similar but not a remix? That's, that's kind of weird. 
Anyway, we get Rush Jet, so that's a pretty, uh, I guess it's fitting there, man, you know. We get the jet from him. So yeah, Crash Man's our last, uh, guy. Oh, sorry, Clash Man, excuse me. Um, in this game. <laughs> yeah, as if this game wasn't, uh, didn't feel enough like a bootleg, it's, uh, got that, um. I mean, but yeah, uh, he's probably the hardest of the four stages, and... Um, the air- uh, I was gonna say, the air shooter is kind of awkward to use in this game. It, it doesn't quite spread the, the way it does in uh, Mega Man 2, it's kind of more narrow. So yeah, not, not really the most useful weapon in the game. Unfortunately, it's Crash Man's weakness, so... That's gonna be fun. Alright, I think we should be able to... Make a jump from here. You know, I really don't like the architecture of this stage for some reason. Like, they have a lot of floating ladders that just out of nowhere. I know that floating platforms are, you know, a thing in Mega Man, but I don't know. I feel like the they have a bit more structure, normally. Also, this looks like a job for Rush Coil, except you get Rush Coil from the stage, so, uh, yeah. Our first E-Tank, uh, two out of the four E-Tank, or... Sorry, the only two E-Tanks in these uh, initial four stages are both in this stage, so weird, weird concentration there. Alright, here's a couple of tight jumps you want to be careful of. The Tellies, uh, they have a habit of knocking you down into the pits, so do be cognizant of that. If you want that single uh, energy pellet, there, there you go. They felt the need to have pippies in this area too, but they don't have much to do. And I think this screen also, yeah. So if you if you care, there's a couple of uh, collectibles. Ooh, uh, maybe I should have gotten that. Oh well. All right, you. How do I do you efficiently? I forget. Anyway. Also, weird mountains in the background. It's not like Crash Man's actual stage, where it's like a space thing. So yeah, Crash Man's harder in this one. Um, you got less space to deal with. Uh, he still, um, you know, throws a crash bomb every... Well, he jumps whenever you shoot, basically. Or, or press the B button in, in general. Um, so you kind of got to, you know, time his... Uh, you know, you time, time your shots uh, well enough. And his, his Crash Bomber will actually deflect some of your uh, shots if you uh, let him. Like, uh, see if you saw one, it got uh, deflected off. Now, Air Shooter, you need every usage of your Air Shooter in order to beat him. He doesn't... Weirdly enough, they, they didn't forget the invincibility frames on him this time. They, uh... As you can see, it keeps barely missing him. Um... And yeah, it's not like you can hit him with multiple air shooters like you could in Mega Man 2, it's, uh... So yeah, this time the Clash Bomber, not the Crash Bomber. Hey look, Rush, it's a sign. Yeah, I, I like the uh, image for Mega Man 2, or Mega Man Dark Revenge better. Oh look, it's an Alolan Exeggutor on the left of that castle. Also, this is really bad, uh, uh, fortress music. Hey, Wily. Well, game over, right? Totally, right? Ooh, a big trick. It's not like I have Rush Coil and can jump back up there, or Rush Jet. But no, it's, uh, yeah, we've got four more stages here, um... Uh, yeah, so this is where the Mega Man 3 elements come in. This is a top man stage, if you didn't know. Now, these do count as fortress stages, so you can't, uh... Also, water physics may make this, uh... Yeah, really awkward in this game. I I'm... That that's really the big failing of the engine, uh, the water physics. They make that section very difficult if you don't practice it well. Well... 
So yeah, if you use up any uh, weapon energy, you use a... They reveal your health, but not the weapon. Also, this cat thing works uh, kind of differently. It's to your benefit to just leave this ball lying around, because if you shoot it, it uh, he progresses to the second phase, the harder phase. So yeah, it's not like Mega Man 3 where the ball is invincible and you have to wait for it to roll off screen for him to progress to a second phase. That's a pit down there, don't, uh... Yeah, this is a... It's a good... You know, I got hands in those Mega Man games. I'm usually not telling people, okay, this is a pit, don't jump in here. This is a... Versus, you know, a pit that lets you progress. This is the only game I've had where that's been an issue. Um... Oh look, I got a coin in a Mario game. Alright, the Top Fiend here, or whatever his actual name is, um... You just do that to him. And this boss, taking the easy way out, you'd think would put you at a disadvantage, but look, it, it gives you an easy... You know, it, it gives you a rather easy way to... You can still get the E-Tank, and, and if you don't want it, you can... It's an easier way out of the stage. So yeah, weird, lo weird level design quirks like that. Now this guy, uh, you have to use uh, some weapon on him, like the Metal Blades. In Mega Man 3, there's, you know, the similar segment where you can, uh, use the fact that there's only three tops on the screen to your advantage. This, these tops, yeah, as you can see, they don't work quite like they do in Mega Man 3. A bit glitched. So Top Man's not too much harder in this game than usual. I'll say he's slightly harder just because, you know, you're a bigger target this time. Um, his weakness would be the Hard Knuckle, if we had it. Feels a bit weird playing him in the Fortress stage, because I usually... He's usually one of my first, at least the first two in three, so... The first two bosses that I pick in three, so... It's, you know... Anyway, you kind of want to lead the tops a bit. Uh, there's really not much space to slide if you don't. This boss music is... I'm ambivalent to it. So top spin in this game, I've it's seems to hit less often. Um, in Mega Man Three, it was pretty useful, uh, despite the uh, a lot of people claiming to the contrary. Um, but here, it's very uh, I don't know. It's, it seems like it, it, it it's it kind of glitched. Anyway, our next stage is a uh, Needle Man. Also, why are we on a ship? I thought we were well. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this is, but it doesn't look like a, a castle stage to me, but... Like, it looks like we're in a city. Oh, well, maybe we're teleporting out of the castle. Um, kind of defeats the purpose of Wily having an entire fortress, but oh well. Yeah, I know I'm trying to insert logic in this game, but when I'm used to the actual Mega Man games, it's like, they don't have this issue. Alright, Needle Harry, let's see if I can get you... Nope. Maybe I need special weapons for you. Wow, another one-up! That, that's, uh, fortunate. So, yeah, force weapon usage, uh... It's nice. I think the... There's a branching path here. I think the bottom one is the correct one. Yep, looks like I was right. Are you gonna open up? Okay. Oh wow! Wow, one ups. Uh, okay, this is like one up central here. Um, okay, now we're on a ship. But wow, I have not gotten the, the, this many uh, one ups like ever. Um, also, do I have four E tanks already? Uh, 
Yeah, that's the maximum. I don't think any of the Game Boy games actually uh, give you uh, nine slots for E-Tanks, like, uh, you know, like the NES ones do. It's, it's all, they're all limited to four. Alright, here you gotta do some tricky dodges. And Hammer Joe for this section is significantly easier than having a Needle Harry, uh, like they did in 3. Alright, let's spend some weapon energy to get some weapon energy. You, I just uh, layer a few shots on you. I think I'm gonna, unfortunately, um... Needleman's still pretty, uh, you know, difficult without, uh, using a top spin, of course. That's the weakness in this game. Um, as, as, as bad as the top spin is in this game, it's easier to use than Gemini Laser was in, in his original form, I'll say that much. But yeah, he seemed, he, other, other than that, he functions more or less as he does in, uh, 3. Anyway, let's top spin you to death, because you have no invincibility frame. Still... Okay, that's me and my big mouth. Um, I don't know if I have any energy left to use the top spin, but, uh... Oh well, I'll have to do them the legit way. If not... Okay, sorry, that was... I, th I thought I had used up, uh... There's me confusing the enemy's uh, health bar for my uh, energy bar. Yeah, that's a slight problem with the uh, Game Boy games, you know. It's not always... it's easy to forget which is which. So Needle Cannon, I've not used it much in this game. It's kind of redundant next to the Metal Blades, but 